Hello, this is Zmaster587, the program with the Advanced Rocketry mod for Minecraft. And today I'm going to show you some of the new things in update 0.4.0. In this update, we now have the oxygen system for space stations and planets with low pressure atmospheres, as well as planets with no atmosphere, such as like the moon. <laughs> um, what we have for this is the oxygen vent. The oxygen vent is the central device for pumping oxygen into a room or filling air with oxygen at all. How it works is you can power it and you need to pump oxygen into it to seal the room and keep it oxygenated so you can survive in there without dying. <laughs> um, these CO2 scrubbers can be placed on the sides of the oxygen vent. Um, they turn kind of a tealish color when they're running. The oxygen vent is turned on when a redstone sig signal is given to it and turned off when there is no redstone signal given to it. So if I flip the switch, you can see these things are no longer teal. That's indicating that the vent is not running and the room is not being filled with oxygen. So, yeah, these yeah, CO2 scrubbers require carbon collection cartridges which can be crafted out of iron sheets and iron bars. The iron sheets are now made in the rolling machine with an iron plate. Iron plates are made in the rolling machine with iron ingots. Uh, these carbon collection cartridges have a limited lifetime. They last about 48 hours of continuous use. They are not used while the machine is not on, as you can see by the durability number not changing as I'm mousing over it. The machine is currently off, as you can see the switch here, if I turn it on, you will see that the durability number starts counting. Once your carbon collection cartridge is completely full, you can turn it into a new cartridge in charcoal by running it through the chemical reactor. It takes about two seconds at 20 RF a tick. Um, the oxygen system, oops, I put myself in survival there, yet yeah, I take damage. <laughs> Completely forgot that this door is open. <laughs> so if I close the door and put myself back into survival, you can see I'm no longer taking damage. The auction system is on and the space station is sealed, which prevents me from taking damage. Uh, glass also acts as a block that can be sealed. You can kind of see the earth down there, it's kind of cool looking. Yeah, I'm in space. Um, if I were to open this small airlock door, which can be crafted out of concrete, I do need to fix the NEI recipe for that. Um, if I open this, I start taking damage. Big warning sign, no option detected. I'm not wearing a spacesuit. If I were to wear a spacesuit and go outside, I wouldn't take damage, assuming that I'd filled my spacesuit up with oxygen. The full suit is comprised of space boots, spacesuit leggings, spacesuit chest piece, and space helmet. The spacesuit offers very little resistance against attacks from mobs or anything else for that matter. It's mostly designed to keep the air right around you where it should be so you don't suffocate. It currently does not work underwater, although I will probably add that in the next update. I just thought of that right now, so a bit late, but anyway. As you can see, there's an oxygen bar at the bottom. It's got a little red here, and the rest is gray. This is telling me that my spacesuit has no oxygen in it. In order to put oxygen in my spacesuit, I need to stand on an oxygen charge pad. Oxygen charge pad requires liquid oxygen as well as a power source, which I'm providing with this creative engine. If I stand on top of the oxygen charger, you can see that the O2 bar at the bottom is beginning to fill up. Each space suit can last for half an hour without recharging. Um, the oxygen itself is stored in the chest piece, as you would expect. You can kind of see there's a tank on the back of it that stores the oxygen. and. Uh, now if I turn off the O2 system or, and or go outside, I no longer take damage. 
the O2 bar at the bottom will very slowly drain. It'll take a minute for the effect. Um, if I were to take off any component of the space suit, I'll start suffocating because I'm no longer wearing a sealed suit. I'm going to put this back on so I don't die. Again, a huge warning saying there's no oxygen. Um, the other cool thing about the oxygen vent is I'll take the spacesuit off again for effect. If I open this piston door up here, it also lets the oxygen out. So, yeah. <laughs> one of the bugs I had earlier with this where it wouldn't let the oxygen out if the piston moved it, but I have since fixed that. Um, oxygen can be produced in the electrolyzer here. If I pump water into the back of it, the electrolyzer will produce both oxygen and hydrogen. Hydrogen you can probably dispose of. So I'm going to break and replace that. There we go. Put the spacesuit back on. As you can see, if I turn the electrolyzer on, it'll start producing oxygen over here. Which is, I'm pumping into this charge pan pad here so I have oxygen. Also produces a small amount of hydrogen. These things are also components of the fuel system for the rockets, which I will show you in a few moments. All right, I am now back on Earth. I've come down from my space station and in my outdoor area of machines. Got a lot of these things <laughs> that are a work in progress. You can see some of the older stuff from you know, the base version of the mod. So the other new thing I mentioned is rocket fuel. I can no longer send your rockets up on nothing but water. However, to make the fuel, it's at this point, it's not too much of a step from water. So I will hook this back up. All right, so I've got right now the easiest way to make ox. I'm sorry, not oxygen. Uh, rocket fuel is take the electrolyzer. This this machine here can be created. You know, I can. You can see it in a hollow projector. If I go find it, you'll see there's another new machine here, the chemical reactor. I will get to that in a moment. So the electrolyzer is made up of two output fluid hatches, an IC2 plug or redstone flux plug. The IC2 plug is new with this version as well. So if you're trying to power your machines with IC2 power instead of RF, that's fine now too. Um, just as a warning, the single block machines will not accept IC2 power as of now. This is just a bit of a slow start. However, we're still in alpha, so there's a lot of things that still need a lot of work. But I thought people might like the auction update, so I'm pushing that as soon as I can. Um, it also takes machine structures and a fluid input hatch. Another new thing you'll see is with the hollow projector, instead of seeing machine structure block or generic machine block or whatever I had there, you'll now see the actual name of the machine, in this case the electrolyzer, which I will build for you real quick. Eh. Another cool thing is I can actually have a machine that takes both IC2 and RF power. I can put an EU plug here and an RF plug here, and it'll take power from either. So I will now finish building this machine. I've completed the structure, and as usual, to form the machine, I must right-click on the control block. And you'll see the machine is now formed. except the IC2 plug, which does not want to cooperate. I will fix that. <laughs> I apologize. So as you can see here, I put water into it. First, this needs power. I completely forgot I broke this in the last update. I'm going to replace these real quick. That need power. You can see it now has power. I will turn it on. 
put water into the back of this. This is full of hydrogen. I'll break this real quick. There we go. And I'll turn the machine on. And now you can, as you can see, the progress bar is filling up. Hydrogen is being pushed out into the fluid hatch. And oxygen is being put out into this other fluid hatch here. Both of these are requirements to make rocket fuel. Right now the idea is that rocket fuel relies on kind of an extremely simplified recipe for H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide, which is used in real life rockets. But in order to do this, like I said, our super simplified recipe we have for this, H2O2, let's just take two hydrogen and two oxygen and we'll stick it together. In reality you cannot do this. However, for the sake of Minecraft, you really don't want to make hydrogen peroxide <laughs> from scratch. I did a bit of digging into it. It is extremely painful and it would take me a long time to implement. I might do it in the future and you know, put it in for, as a hard mode or something. However, it would be stupid for me to force people to use real life recipes for that. Okay, so for this, this is the chemical reactor. It's not really as pretty as some of the other ones. I will build this real quick. Chemical reactor requires the chemical reactor block, an output hatch here, and an output hatch here. It takes two output hatches. All outputs are on the same side. There are two fluid outputs here and here. Notice the fluid outputs have a circle instead of a square. Um, machine structure for the back, input hatches, again inputs are on both sides, and the liquid input hatch is a circle instead of a square. And I, the machine needs power as well, so in this case I'm going to use an RF plug. And again, right click on it to form the machine. If it formed correctly, the back should turn into this thing here where it fills it with different chemicals and then mixes them in the bottom bowl. And there you go, that's how you build the chemical reactor. So by putting hydrogen and oxygen into the top two fluid hatches here, there's no requirement for material here, but this will go to make rocket fuel. And you now require rocket fuel to run your rocket, and it will no longer run with water. So to, demonstra to uh, demonstrate, I'm going to build a rocket, a very simple rocket. It's my favorite, however, very clunky design. I've built it a million times while debugging. Oh, where did I put... there's a guidance computer. Right. So, rules for building rockets have not changed, still requires fuel tanks, engines, a seat, and a guidance computer if you want to go anywhere. Don't forget your chip, otherwise you won't be going anywhere. So I'm going to build this rocket real quick. There is also a config to change the build speed of rockets, so if you're sick of waiting you know, to build large rockets or whatever, or you run a server or you're playing single player, feel free to change the config. Okay, so now I've built my rocket. I'm going to use the linker as before on the fueling station, which now takes rocket fuel. Shift click on here, shift click on the rocket, and this will start transferring fuel to the rocket. And this will slowly fill up, and the rocket mechanics are the same as before.